Hello, uh, my name is Vijay Chalaboyana and I'll be offering a course on nonlinear dynamical systems and control. So this course may be viewed as a part of the series on control systems courses. Uh, this is probably at an advanced level. Uh, as many of you may realize, control systems are uh, everywhere. Uh, in nature, we have systems that regulate certain parameters in every body, every part of nature, ecosystem and whatnot. Uh, but we also have some classical examples that we would also keep thinking about uh, things like uh, your um, James Watts governor which was responsible for part of the first industrial revolution and of course even more ancient something like uh, uh, floating ball mechanisms which uh, we use uh, on a daily basis in a flush toilet all of them these are examples of control systems but of course today we learn control systems to uh, primarily design uh, controllers for very advanced applications such as uh, flight control and uh, uh, network systems, uh, smart grids, and you know, think about any any area in in the real world uh, uh, or any technology control systems uh, uh, has a need and be becomes quite important in terms of optimizing the overall operations. So uh, this course is specifically about uh, uh, understanding mathematical models for nonlinear systems right and specifically we deal with uh, uh, the most basic version of those nonlinear systems that are modeled by ordinary differential equations and we will talk more about these models and things like that in the first uh, couple of lectures uh, the primary goal of this particular course is more on analysis and less on design because the nature of uh, nonlinear systems are complex enough that understanding how they behave is hard enough right and then once we understand that perhaps we can hope to do a, a reverse engineering and then design controllers having said that we do give hints in terms of how to uh, do design here and there and things like that and then the course will also go through a lot of uh, linear uh, systems knowledge, not everything, but uh, whatever is relevant to uh, nonlinear systems, because linear systems are kind of part of nonlinear systems. And we do simulations. Uh, uh, we show, uh, we use MATLAB uh, uh, once in a while to show how some of the theory behaves, how to implement some of the theories that we develop here and things like that. But uh, the focus is not on teaching anything in MATLAB and that will be a responsibility of uh, the student. This will certainly not uh, focus on a specific application, it will be on mathematical models and uh, uh, you know the standard assumptions that we make are basically the model, mathematical model is given to us and also uh, things like sensor and actuators which are very important for a control system are uh, assumed to be available for us. right? So again, I mean, you know, it's a repetition of uh, this statement. It's a course on mathematics of nonlinear systems. And, uh, you know, we would like to think that this is a self-sufficient uh, uh, course, meaning that most of the basics that are needed to understand uh, the concepts are given in this particular uh, series of lectures. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, uh, a student would be very comfortable if they have gone through some of the uh, concepts uh, by themselves or uh, through an undergraduate course or even a uh, graduate course. Uh, so for example, calculus and ordinary differential equations are expected and uh, 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 nobody would probably register for a course like this without uh, such a knowledge. A uh, good understanding of matrix theory helps quite a bit, uh, you, know, uh, you know, especially some of the references that we make uh, will uh, be good if we have a uh, uh, good understanding of matrix theory. Same thing is true about complex variables and Laplace transforms. So of course, uh, complex variables and Laplace transforms are typically covered in a classical controls course and some of the matrix theory, all those things are covered in a classical uh, uh, control course, uh, which is desirable. It's somewhere between mandatory and desirable. I mean, it's good to have a, a solid background in classical control to understand the implication of many of these courses, many of the concepts that we discuss here. Uh, what is not really uh, you know, mandatory, uh, uh, you can survive without knowing pretty much anything is from linear systems and modern control. Uh, but of course, if we have gone through, your uh, learning experience will be much uh, better in this course. Uh, an exposure to basic MATLAB programming is useful for you to try out many of the uh, uh, theories that we present or some of the examples that we show and things like that um, you know so these are the prerequisites in that sense uh, uh, 
it's light on uh, prerequisites uh, from a specific topic beyond you know standard courses from undergraduate but what we expect is actually the first bullet that we see here is mathematical thinking right uh, or in other words mathematical maturity uh, so the maturity in mathematics is not, not about whether you can solve a particular problem given a met method and things like that that uh, many of us uh, trained uh, through our uh, years of education but mathematical thinking is more about uh, you know being meticulous about say understanding a particular uh, definition or a theorem and apply it in exactly the way it is and then probably question you know uh, uh, any uh, gaps in in the definition and things like that and that requires a certain level of uh, maturity and uh, uh, you know uh, in simply put actually it requires just a simple open mind uh, uh, with it clarity uh, in terms of what some particular definition is saying or a theorem is saying so in that sense you know uh, there will be many questions that uh, will be put forward when we are doing the course and then you may have to go back and uh, look at uh, other uh, uh, aspects that we don't cover in this particular course and primarily uh, mathematical analysis, real analysis and those things would uh, come handy if you go back and look at some of those things. So the overall outline will start and it may not make much sense in terms of listing all the uh, topics that we have but here is a list uh, basically the first part of the uh, course is going to be more on the theory where we develop a concept of stability for nonlinear systems and we speak a lot about it and prior to uh, talking about stability we have to talk about models themselves and then their behavior and things like that but uh, uh, once we cover the concept of st stability theory how we implement in say linear systems and uh, some some method called linearization and things like that right so and then the second part is more of uh, applying some of these theories to more uh, interesting problems and then one of the most useful things that we uh, uh, can see as an application of uh, nonlinear systems is actually something called uh, Luray problem, but it's very useful for something called robust stability. Uh, robust stability is about stability of uncertain systems because no model in this world is perfect. So uh, you can probably uh, analyze a model, a perfectly assumed model, but then typically that tends to be uncertain. The knowledge of uh, exact parameters and things like that is never there. So robust stability is part of any control uh, system scores. So we cover quite a bit of that in uh, one of the weeks and then uh, all encompassing theory that uh, uh, can be covered uh, including robust control and robust stability is uh, part of uh, something called dissipativity and some you know interesting applications in adaptive control and uh, general framework for uh, uh, nonlinear system uh, control and finally we will touch upon some uh, uh, modern topics you know that are still under research so to speak so uh, uh, much of the material, uh, uh, you know, I would say 80% or more, uh, comes from uh, this book by Haddad and Chalaboyna, uh, Nonlinear Dynamical Systems and Control, a layup based approach, right? Uh, though uh, we may not follow exact order that, that is there in this book and things like that, but every topic uh, uh, that is covered in this course, about 80% of the topics uh, can be found in that particular book, and then you'll find uh, uh, some textbook problems and things like that. But, uh, uh, you know, there are many many other wonderful references uh, uh, that can be used uh, some of the references that i uh, put here are uh, the ones that i use to learn myself uh, uh, though they may be dated you know some of these things are reprints in 2002 and things like that but the original uh, uh, books were written probably in the 1970s uh, but they're still fresh you know uh, they read very well and things like that so uh, my favorites in nonlinear systems are uh, professor vidya sagar's uh, nonlinear system analysis um, the stability theory of dynamical systems by bhatia and ziago uh, and then you know uh, we only cover a little very little of it but it's a wonderful book uh, stability of adaptive systems and uh, uh, robust control has a uh, couple of uh, very nice books that I mentioned here uh, but these are all additional references and then uh, you know suppose if you fancy uh, some of the topics that we discuss in robust control it's uh, good to go through uh, a couple of these books to see uh, you know an overall uh, depth in some of these concepts right 
So uh, that uh, is uh, essentially what we are going to do. Uh, looking forward. Thank you.